Well, today I'm in Barry Island. Tidy. Well, Mel's gone away with her mother for a couple of days, but she won't be happy when she finds out I've come to Barry Island without her, especially as I think I'm gonna have some chips for lunch. In the words of Stacy from Gavin and Stacy, they're gonna be well lush. If you're not from the UK, you may be a bit confused about some of the phrases I've been using, like lush, tidy, cracking. They're from Gavin and Stacey, which was a successful TV comedy show in the UK. You may know one of the stars, James Corden, who's done quite well in the US. It also starred Ruth Jones and uh, Rob Brydon. Ruth Jones and James Corden wrote the show. But Rob Bryden and Ruth Jones both went to my old school, Fourth Corps Comprehensive School. They were slightly older than me, but I still remember them acting together uh, in the Fourth Corps Pavilion. Yes, Barry Island is actually a real place, and it was an island up until the late 19th century, only accessible at low tide. But as Barry docks grew, the island became permanently linked to the mainland. So before I have some chips, let's continue our look around Barry Island. Cracking. So it's time for some chips, but which chip shop to choose? There's two main places by the beach, O'Shea's and Boofy's, but which one? They're about equal on TripAdvisor and you can't really trust TripAdvisor, especially in smaller towns. So I think the only way would be a simple coin toss. So uh, let's see. So there's the coin, a little 50 pence. Heads, Boofies, Tails, O'Shea's. And it's Heads. That's Boofies we're going to try first. I have to come back for the other one with Mel. Another little phrase which comes up a lot in Gavin and Stacey, but if you're from this area, you know it really well, is now in a minute. I'm going to have my chips now in a minute. I think I'll go for gravy and chips. The line seems much longer in O'Shea's next door. Is that a sign? Well, it looks nice. It's a nice spot. I walked from the beach to the end of the rocks and there's no one around and I'm overlooking the sea. You may be able to hear the sea. But there is a little seagull. 
piling up my chips just over there. You're not getting any chips, mate. Chips and gravy is a very Welsh thing. We used to love it as a kid. And I know they have it up north. I don't know if they have it in many other places around the country. Probably similar to poutine in Canada. It is really salty, which is nice nasty. I just realized I bought a can as well to drink. I left it on the counter. Can't be bothered to walk back. It's a long trip. Mm. That's good. Not in any fine dining way, in a guilty pleasure sort of way. Mm. Mel's not here to nag me, saying stop making that stupid noise. Mm. That seagull's getting closer. Look at him. Quite a decent portion of chips. Oh, the price. I forgot to mention the price. It was £3 for gravy and chips or curry sauce and chips. So that's the view I've got when I'm eating the chips. Pretty nice. Right, I'm not going to give this a score out of 10 because I've only had chips and gravy, no fish. And Mel's the expert on fish. Well, that says it all about the chips. All gone. Even the seagulls flown off. By the way, I'm not going to tell Mel I came to Barry without her and had some chips. The first she's going to find out is when I upload this video. <laughs> Hi, Mel. I think I'll continue my look around Barry Island before heading back to Porthcawl. I'll take back what I said. There was no queue when it came half an hour ago, but now it's really busy. I came back to get my can. So that's Marco's Cafe. That's where Stacey used to work in the TV series. So they've done pretty well out of it. It's packed. I definitely feel a bit sick going on that. I'm really crap at fairground rides. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters. Anything that goes round. It's not a bad little fair, actually. I don't fancy that. He looks a bit sick. They've even got a log flume. It's a Barrysaurus Rex lurking in the bushes. Well, it's a bit quieter here. I was going to say, when I came in, I thought the fairground was going to be rubbish. But it's really good. It's very small, but there's some really good rides. I have, definitely have to come back with Mel. Okay. 
So that was my little trip to Barry Island, the setting of Gavin and Stacey. And it was very nice too. The sun was out, although it's gone a little hazy at the moment. A little bit of sea mist, but it was really good. The fairground was much better than I remember. And the chips and gravy were very nice. So if you haven't seen some of our other videos around South Wales, links below and coming up next. Also, coming up next is myself and Mel reviewing the chip shops around Porthcore. And we'll see you in one of those. Bye.